Folks, Segasonic fan here with an exciting update for the Virtual Ribbon 4.0. And this is, of course, the upgrade for your Virtual Boy LED that makes it, uh, in most cases, will fix the lines that you get on the display from aging because the original cable is really poor quality. And this is a complete replacement board with a brand new cable and connector. Um, one thing I'm always doing, though, is trying to think of ways to make things easier and better for people. And I know this this install is, is a little bit harder just because of how fine the pitch is on these connectors here. And so one of the harder things I find is actually aligning everything in your Virtual Boy like this. Now this plastic alignment bracket is pulled from a broken Virtual Boy, but it's quite the luxury to have this, uh, especially with prices being what they are now for Virtual Boys. And you see I've, I designed this so when you're working on this in your Virtual Boy, uh, you align it uh, with the with the screw that comes with your Virtual Boy, and you can screw it in like so. There's this little nub here that also holds it in place, and you can try to you know you can nudge it and get it just perfect, and then start applying your solder. Uh, but there's two drawbacks to this. So one is of course this plastic is normally installed inside your Virtual Boy, this this plastic frame, and that means that your soldering iron can, you know, it's quite easy to, you know, nick the speaker cables or something else in here when you're trying to get that alignment, you know, installed. And of course you remove the speaker, but it's still, there's a lot of plastic and stuff around there. It's not so easy. And the other thing is that when you do this, depending on how much heat you apply, you can, and of course I've, I haven't done it too badly here, even though I've done a number of installs on this, um, you can start to melt a little bit of the plastic here um, if you apply too much heat. Um, and I've, you know, this one's actually survived pretty well. I've done a lot of installs on this one. But uh, this is a luxury to have this like completely separate from your Virtual Boy. I would never, never recommend removing this piece just to do this install. Removing this piece is really hard. It can screw up your calibration. And if you remove these screws, it can also screw up your calibration or so I hear. Um, and so you really don't want to mess with that because of the mechanical opponents here. So behold, the Virtual Mount. This is my solution to helping you all do your installs more easily. And it's pretty sweet. So what you do, we'll zoom in here. You just take your Virtual Boy PCB, put it in like so, and it will protect your LED um, while you're doing any kind of install work. You can even do this when you're removing the cable. And it has both the screw hole and the nub for your alignment of your Virtual Boy 4.0. So you take that there. And it's actually designed to be threaded with the original Virtual Boy screw. And then you can get that alignment just the way you like it. And you can start soldering this connector and finishing that all up. And then when you're done, all you have to do is just unscrew this and put everything back in your Virtual Boy. It'll be all soldered and ready to go. So you won't have to put a soldering iron anywhere near your Virtual Boy headset, like your head unit, just, just this one little PCB. So I'm gonna make these available in the near future, hopefully, and uh, just be a little bit extra if you wanna get one of these with your kit. Um, I do have to print these, and it takes a while. They're, they're very precise uh, measurements. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And also you can keep it in case you ever wanna, I don't know why you would wanna do this, but if you're shipping your LEDs or something, it's, I might use this to send to people sometimes if I'm shipping them uh, an installed version, uh, cause it protects it. That's a little protective in case. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud how these turned out. I think these turned out really, really nice. And so, yeah, always thinking of ways to improve stuff. Um, the other thing that I've got in the works is a cable clamp. This is a highly optional thing, but basically uh, for your, your cable here, um, you can see here this little printed plastic uh, can hold it down so that, uh, I mean, it's so unlikely that, that the cable would get pushed in such a way to make it come loose from that connector. But if you're worried about that or you just want something that looks even a little bit cleaner, um, this is an option I'm thinking of making available soon. If you're interested in the cable clamp, the virtual clamp, uh, let me know. And that always encourages me to finish projects <laughs> when I hear from people and they say, yes, I want this. So um, yeah, but I'm excited about this one. Um, putting my 3D modeling 
uh, skills to use. It's always fun. And thank you all, as always, for your support and interest in these projects. Um, I have a lot more on the way, as you all know. Folks are still waiting on the virtual juice, and part of making this is actually developing the case modeling skills that I need to finish the virtual juice. So I'll have more updates on that later. I haven't forgotten about anybody. And uh, yeah, take care. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.